Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ashen Castle. Today, we're having a look at a game played on the Chinese Super Server. This is Ka Ze Ha. At least in one trick from the Chinese Super Server. And he's generally regarded as the most capable Lee Sin player. Now, very important, okay? What you're about to see is not going to be crazy flashy combos although he does he does have very good mechanics of course but very important he is not a super high level playmaker he is a super high level jungler and player so we're gonna jump right into the cast all right so starting out on the summit drift we have ka ze ha he's starting on the raptors here he will be facing off against a cane in the jungle and uh, canes of course they do like to start at the raptors themselves by the way down there in the right bottom corner right next to the minimap we do see kazeha's screen by the way and um his clear is specifically engineered to deal with the high elo with high elo um meta and with how things work. So what cane players like to do is they like to invade you on the raptors. Generally can invade you on multiple different objectives. And this is a pathing that I've seen Kazeha do very much versus almost all the uh, junglers he's playing against. Um, however, specifically what he does is he starts on these raptors a lot but whenever he faces off against specifically a jungler that is able to invade him or that is able to kind of steal his camps he will play it like this kind of playing it a little bit safer and then popping the potion at the end of the clear very important if you fall low hp during your clear do not pop the potion as the potion will regenerate and as the jungle item will regenerate a percentage of health based on missing health so the lower you drop in the jungle the more you regenerate and then you can pop the potion to win fights okay so we're setting up for a gank here onto the way way pretty low aurelian soul is going to be able to follow here very good try he tried to predict the flash from the way and he almost got it his way will be flashing for that one. It is a flash for flash. And we will hopefully be able to get our flash back soon enough. As yeah, smite available for the cane. Subscribe. So we will lose that one. Cane just cleared. Uh, full cleared. Which leaves him at level 4. Level 3 here for Kazeha as he did not do the last camp in order to set up for a gank here this tempo is a little bit screwed over now as yeah there's a chance exactly that kane forces a fight here okay a few seconds on the smite as he goes in will take this one with the smite and then now is ooh, very good job actually dodges out on the cow all right massive damage and he would this is see this is a thing that is just played very very well right he's using his w to dodge out on some of the abilities and kind of just playing it around the maokai using the maokai as more of a front line the maokai ignite there giving him the damage necessary in order to get both of the kills there so really really nice very well played by both the maokai and by kazeha and we are already establishing a pretty big lead. This sucks for Kane as Kane died, so he will get less shards. Ah, uh, ghost on the Kesante, so he will be able to get himself out of reach of the Aatrox here. As we are setting up for a gank here onto the mid lane. Gotta be careful, Ka the Kane is around. Okay, Kazeha is setting up here for the gank now. As ah. Uh, Unfortunately, Wei will find the kill on to the Space Dragon as one minion is there. Box around. Very good use of the Q there. Tags him with the Q. One, one spe specific thing about Kazeha is his Q accuracy is amazing. Now, we haven't seen it this... You know, it didn't look too impressive so far. But you're going to see that there is just massive consistency in hitting that ability. 
And uh, of course, sometimes he predicts people as well. And whenever that happens, it is a bit of a highlight of mine. I've 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 done it. I've done it um, in a recent game that I've played. Done it versus a LeBlanc, and it felt dude, it felt fucking amazing. I was, I'm I'm I was still thinking about this like three days later. It is what it is. You know, maybe I'm a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, very important part here. Um, level two on uh, level four is going to be spent on a second point in E. And then we're going for the point in Q. I believe I, I still haven't completely figured out why, but I believe it is for clearing the camps like Raptors and the Krugs. Being able to clear that a little bit faster. So, setting up for a gank here onto the Kesanta. It's going to be a difficult gank. The minion wave is relatively big. Yeah, not really possible, huh? Okay, level 6 is not in reach here, unfortunately. As Kesanta will go all out here. Lee Sin is ready to interject. Will help out with a little bit of damage. Energy is relatively low, though. Two auto attacks. Ah, the E connects, but Kesanta will regenerate HP. What an illegal champion, huh? He could have Warthog Q'd there. I'm not entirely sure if he had enough energy, though. I... Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, at the end of the day, right, we still take that one. That is Kesanta using his ultimate. It's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, but now he loses Scuttlecrab because he lost too much HP. Which is what I would assume he's complaining about. Okay, what are we going for here? Going for the tunnel, which means we are going for the Sundered Sky. A couple of different options as Lee Sin. A lot of Lee Sin players like to play the Eclipse first as it gives a very strong power spike. Gives you that shield, gives you that skirmishing power. It's very good for the solo queue aspect. And uh, for just kind of having a lot of damage, a lot of carry potential. And then there's also the option of going Sundered Sky, which... You know, puts you into a little bit more tankier of a build. Again, I've heard that some Lee Sin mains think it is not a good item and almost never has a place. Some people build it constantly, like Kazeha. It's uh, kind of weird. Kind of depends on, you know, what is going on on your server as well, how much you're fighting and what kind of fights. Right, Sandra is going to give you... Quite a bit more tankiness in the fights, quite a bit more staying power. Whereas uh, Eclipse gives you more playmaking potential, more damage overall. And then of course the uh, health in form of a shield instead of the health in form of health from the Divine Sandra. So we are jumping over the wall here, looking for that red buff. Pull it into the bush, yep. And then we will... Enjoy that one. Looking for a gank here, probably. I would assume that Kazeha has his eyes perked down onto the minimap here. Really good option to gank this is to kick Alistar into the Lucian. It's a very good way. Because Alistar very often will kind of try to set up. So here we are just looking for the Alistar kick into the wall. The Q connects with the Lucian, but... Lucian giving a little bit of a back massage here to the Maokai. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, he went for a safe kill. And now he has to be a little bit careful as this cane can hurt quite a bit. If, uh... Oh, we're not checking wolves? Yeah, no. We're not checking wolves. Um, as, uh, you know, we don't have ultimate. And tunnel, generally. Not the most amazing of items. When it comes to gold value. Definitely not comparable with a pickaxe. Longsword potential as Tristana will be going in. The cleanse, the exhaust coming out. The Q lands! And we are E flashing on to the Lucian Warthop to safety as we did not trust the Tristana. And we get out of here. And you see how quickly executed everything is here. Very good job by Kazeha. He will take another kill for himself. And Tristana will get at least one plate here. Alright, Divine Sandra is in our inventory, and if you are turbo snowballed like he is right now, for no, this is a very good option to build something like the Sandra, then you're not gonna feel so amazing about the Eclipse. It sounds really weird, but uh, 
you you kind of want more staying power and Lee Sin can get to that really ridiculous like tankiness level with the uh, Divine Sandra. So it can feel really frustrating to play against with his mobility and all of that. Yeah, unfortunate situation here. That occurred is the Lucian playing it very careful. We're still looking for the setup onto the Lucian here. I'm always scared of ganking something like that. Okay, smite. E. The kick is available, so he can, yeah, guarantee the Q land. Oh, no. And Lucian gets out with one HP as Wei teleports in. With very low mana here, though, that means that one kill goes over to Tristana. Make it two. Ah, uh, very good. Yeah, very good play, by the way. Barely got enough mana to set up the fear there after the jump. And then put down the slow field as well. Which puts Tristana into that point where she can't chase anymore. So it is a one for one. After all, with shutdown traded, not the best of situations here. Blue buff going over to the way as well, which is very, very scary. As Maokai, ooh, throwing that ultimate. The grasping vines. Sneaking towards the enemy team. You know, nothing happens, really. We are a little bit, a little bit distraught. Okay, let's see if we can catch the Lucian here, dude. Imagine that hit, Q, that Q hit. I've seen, I've seen Kazeha hit these. Yeah, nice try, nice try. Was of course expecting the Lucian to roam again for the setup here onto the dive. We'll be clearing his objective right next to the. Dive enemy team should be aware that he is around. They will bring Kane. And that means that, oh, yeah. Kick will have to happen here. Gotta be very careful with that kick. As, yeah, unfortunately. I mean, at least Alistar ultimate goes out and we find... Ooh, very good micro here. As he will sneak himself under the tower. Where are you going, Kane? And he will connect with the Kane and find him. Aatrox teleport coming in through. And acing the enemy team's dive. Not acing the enemy team. I caught myself very well. <laughs> As of course. The big beefy boy. Kesante is in the top lane. This is really not what you want to do as Kesante. Kesante is one of those champions. He His lane presence later on is not going to be amazing. So you want to be part of fights. You want to roam. You want to move. You want to teleport to these things. Use you, your like absolute ridiculous frontline capabilities to create space for the way. Create space for the Lucian and that can make it much much easier to play especially versus these high threat champions like the Aatrox you can be very very strong at peeling them off sending them across the map when in doubt but of course tank mode on Kesante can't be underestimated can do a lot of disrupting and standing in front of way something that as a way player myself I do appreciate greatly. It is absolutely, absolutely fun. Okay, let's see. So Wei is going to be very hard to gank. Well, not if he does this though. Okay, Wei so far griefing it absolutely as we are not going to be in range here for the kick and we got to play it fast. It's the flash out of range and he will go down to the cane here. Ah, that is such an unfortunate situation. He barely wasn't in ultimate range here. After the spiraling despair from the way. It was in ultimate range and he needed to wait for a little bit longer there in order to connect that Q after the ultimate. He's able to get it and will go down to the cane here. There's a fight in the bot lane. And that seems like, yes, very good buster shot here by the Shoshana. As Lucian will go down and that is only the cow standing. Standing for very long though as the ultimate will be popped here. But eventually this one will go down. Maybe even to the space dragon. Yes, more stacks for the dragon. Arensol can be a little bit hard to play against Wei. Wei has decent ways to interrupt you. Um, a little bit better than some mages. But worse than something like a Syndra or something like a Vagar. So... You know, can be can be a little bit difficult, even if you are snowballed, to even have impact. 
Given the fact that, of course, your Q will be buffed up here, speaking about Aurelian Soul, that is, Q, Q will be up, buffed up while you are under effect of the W, so flying. Deal increased damage, and that, of course, is going to be hard to do versus champions like Wei, who can just throw Spiraling Despair, E, E, U, or anything E, for that matter, as the smite comes out. Now we find ourselves in the midst of three people here, as Wei will find the W, and that is another death to Lee Sin. God damn, this this is not <laughs> this is not looking amazing for Kazeha. But so far you, you can already you can already see the mastery of Lee Sin here on this guy, right? This this was just a pure macro mistake. Whenever, whenever you see him solve situations with Lee Sin, it looks so good. The dive as well. If you remember that one down here, that looked absolutely amazing the way he used his W there. In order to dodge out on some stuff. Very good Maokai QW here. Unfortunately, Tristana not really able to follow up as this cow is a tanky one. Yeah, even more knockback here. But Tristana will manage to get one kill. And that, yeah, leads to the other. Because, of course, the Mao Mu cow not worth much without a AD carry. So... Tristana did manage to milk those. Tristana did not manage to push in the wave correctly. Jesus freaking Christ. Yeah, instead we're looking for the red buff. Can we crash the wave? Hello? Oh my god, dude. And you're like, you're already in Seoul. You're looking down there and you're like seeing this wave and you're like, ah, nice. I just lost one and a half waves again. Fog. As they eventually, this will still crash. But of course the team will lose one wave in general. Mr. Mid-King will take another kill for himself here. As now, oof, the Sky's Descent is available here for Space Dragon. Okay, surely we are not using Sky's Descent on this. This little cow. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, Sky's Descent coming out as Lee Sin is forced to make a play here. Hasn't really been able to find anything so far, though. You're going to be careful as Wei is able with that fear to disrupt you. And yeah, you can see exactly what I was talking about here. But they do manage to just power through. This is the thing of way, right? Is that he does have quite a bit of slow and general disruption, but his damage not as crazy. A victor would have done much more damage there, and lived much shorter. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have had ultimate up either because that one is about five hours of cooldown. No, I'm not a salty victor main. Not at all. Okay. This is the objective that we take after <laughs> after a gr great fight. That That is what we were fighting about, right? River control. This tower goes down to the Herald here. Kane will take that one. And, uh... Ooh, very good play, actually. Kane taking the Herald away in order to deny the stack to Aurelian Soul. Ooh, he's actually drifting it down into the bot lane. Does he get the tower? He gets the tower! No, he didn't get the tower. Nah. Man, that was in that was so clutch. God damn. God damn. Yeah, I was looking at the minimap there, of course, as we do not have control over the spectator here. This is a pre-recorded YouTube video from a stream. I generally like to look at the point of view of players. See how much they use their F keys, see how much they use the minimap. Of course, using the minimap is not really something that can be tracked as easily. We're not looking for Cassante. Well, oh, Tristana, brother, <laughs> I'm not. I I I don't want to be the guy, but like you're gonna take a lot of time to fight this guy, and then what happens if the enemy team shows up? But yeah, kill goes over to the Tristana as Cassante is down, and ooh, the team managed to pick up kills onto Way and onto the Kane here. So yeah, very righteously so. The Baron Ping coming out. Yeah, our, our end soul also can have really decent Baron damage as well. So he does, of course, do consistent damage. Does that Q reach? I can't see it. I think so, yeah. Yeah, of course it does, yeah. Now I can see the effect that the base... 
3k the teleport coming through as we take that objective for ourselves alistar very tanky here as we find the q onto the lucian once again absolutely amazing you'll see kazeha might hold off on using the q here and use it right at the end and then instantly q back again as right now ooh, almost a really good kick but unfortunately doesn't quite land it is enough however to take down the cane and the K Santa, unfortunately both carries still alive but of course carries not worth worth much without a frontline in this elo specifically against the maokai as well <laughs> the legendary 55 percent win rate champion of course as we will be taking the dragon for ourselves here Aatrox in the top lane a little bit uh a little bit in a scary situation but of course Aatrox is ridiculously tanky so you know what are they gonna do? Are, are Lucian Wei gonna walk up to him? Try to kill him? Hmm. Probably not. Sam. So, um, enemy jungle here taken, and this is of course really unfortunate situation. Hate, hate to be at that point as the cane, where it's just Joverman. You're not really able to farm anymore. You need to take your laner's waves, but you don't really want to, as here. We are just building more and more armor. Cause enemy team. Incredibly AD heavy. <laughs> As uh, well. Way. He does do quite a bit of magic damage. But he's not at that point. He's not accelerated enough. That he will actually do enough damage for you to really have to build around it. One one big downtime uh, downside of Way is that he has big aoe's so very it's very likely that you're gonna get hit potentially so um generally i like to sneak in a hex drinker and help with the burst of some champions very good take that one mm, yes take it all all the big objectives like scuttlecrap celestar did go down as well and i mean this game looks absolutely over <laughs> as we are already on to <laughs> yeah what is is he he's queuing for counter-strike in a in a launcher seems like it yeah the game is gg so thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed the kazeha cast and yeah excuse me for... hello <laughs> excuse me for uh all the mishaps here during casting but unfortunately <laughs> that is not <laughs> guys this is not Counter-Strike, okay? This is not Counter-Strike 2 yet. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay awesome.